Hello friends, welcome back. This is full stack development video series for building online course enrollment application. This is episode 6 and this is completely from Angular Concepts. In this video, we'll be covering some part of the whole developed application and I'll show you step by step of how to start with Angular and then what are components and all of those things. So even if you don't know Angular, you'll be able to catch up. We'll take a look at the demo of what we're going to build and let's get started. Okay, so like I said, in this whole series, we will drive as it is done in the real time, right? So in general, in company, what will happen is, um, you know, when we build the UI application, there'll be somebody called a uh, designer who will design the UI UX. Okay, so they'll closely work with the business and the product team, and then they will come up with a design which the product team likes. Once the design is ready, the mocked ready like it could be a real image or whatsoever you know they will then pass on to the developers like developing team and then the developer team has to take a look at that and start developing exactly how it was so let's let's do this in a good way right so in this episode there is a set of requirements let's read through the requirements and then let's go on a build and satisfy the requirement now the requirement says Build the following screens while backend team is building the supporting web APIs, which means they are giving us a UI which will like they're telling us how to build, and they're also saying there's a separate backend team who is building the APIs to support the data. But while they do it, just start building the page. Okay, build a page that shows the category details, preferably to show as a cards, which is like bootstrap cards in horizontal view and it should be scrollable. Great. Second requirement, on click of a particular category, take the user to the course list page where you show all the courses belongs to that category. When you show that, show some course metadata, some good pictures of that course, and then auto align three per row. Okay, so we will revisit this page. And then they are also saying, on click on that view from this page, take them to the course detail page where you will show some basic information of the course. Okay, so and then that is what they're doing. They also said, you know, do this too much of detailed work later for this page, but just build something basic. The next is update the navigation section to support the view, so which means the nav bar in the top. And then for this, the user don't need to be authenticated. It's an anonymously accessible web page. Great. So requirements are good. Okay. So what does that requirements translate into? Let's imagine this is the mock uh, screen which the UI UX team gave us. Okay. Or even uh, there is no UI UX team. Sometimes some project doesn't have it. This is what they want. So what we have to understand is see, this is the cart. So they want to show the categories in a horizontal scrollable way. This is what they want. Okay. When you click on a particular um, item, take them to the page where you show the uh, courses available for that category. So the category here is the Cosmos DB and what do we have like that? Okay. So let's go back and what else? Let's say we have to click on category cloud category and we can list down whatever the course is under that category and like three in a row this is what they said they also said pictures for each course to show them very nicely which is also coming so these are the pages that we are going to build and then when you click on a particular item you take them to the beautiful page where they'll be able to see the details of the course we may not be building this whole stuff we might uh, build some different ui this is the deployed version of the ui i will leave this ui to you but I will show you how to get to this page and show some information. And then I want you guys to try that. Okay. So now in order to succeed in uh, Angular development, if you really wanted to learn and grow your career, I really tell you only one thing. You have to do all of these things by your hand. Having the code in the reference is okay. But if you don't do by yourself, you will not be able to succeed completely. You have to write the code by your hand. OK, when you always learn, you have to do this. OK, so now we have the requirement. We have some screens. We know what to do. Great. So and then they also have a navigation. 
right when you click on a particular category navigation you get to this category page or whatever it is right so that is what we want now this is deployed version you see this this is deployed version this is our actual version the code which is available in github repository under the online course ui okay there is already episode 6 after we build this i will update this brand so that whatever we see in this video is what you would get in this code okay so let's stick to that and get aligned to that now if i download the code it is right now like this after we complete this this video whatever you see here is what you will get it from here okay so let's keep it that way now we do not have this whatever you saw in the deployed version we do not have this because we are going to build it if you click it nothing happens it's not even clickable right there's no other page nothing so we are going to do all of these things in my way of teaching we will always go with what is required as per the project not, not like you learn every single basics of angular and then start building this is not never going to happen okay this is very hard uh, in order to achieve those kind of things like you will lose you will you will get lost at one point of time so what we will do we know the requirement you don't know anything about angular and we will see how to learn and what and all concepts are required we will apply those concepts that is what we will be doing it all right okay hands on deck let's get into the demo all right so we need to create a component let's start with the first component called category component so we'll try to recap ng generate component and then we are saying we have to have that component inside a particular section so components under the components folder under course folder i need category component if you do this what will happen inside the components there will be a folder called course. Inside the course, there will be a category component created. And right now, it doesn't have anything, which is okay. Right? So, all what you have to do is, so all what you have to do is, we know it is app category. So, app category, just copy it and we want it to keep it in here. This one is a home component, right? So, we have to put our stuff here. So, what we will do, we will go under home component, under HTML. In order to use a component inside a component or in order to use a component, all what you have to do is you need to have the selector. So open, put the selector name, close it. Now it will show you that we are using standalone. So this component is not recognized and then it is asking us the suggestion. Okay. So when you hover and click on quick fix, it will actually fix. You see this? It is asking us to import the um the app category in the inside the home component you can do like that also but let's learn it okay so if you go here inside imports here you need to import that component so app component if you import it the error will go away okay i imported a wrong one it is app category okay so it's category component you see this once I import this error, whatever error was coming has gone away. Okay, so we are good. So now let's go back and check the UI. You see this category works. So something has come here. Okay, now before we proceed further, this course is not to teach you anything related to HTML or CSS. We are assuming you know CSS and you know HTML. You don't need to be an expert. The only CSS that we're using here is the bootstrap. As long as you can you can go and do exactly what the bootstrap is doing. We are good. If not, w3schools.com or there are many sites that will teach you how to learn HTML and CSS. You can go ahead and learn that. But trust me, HTML and CSS are just a static content. Okay. The whole idea of this course is to learn Angular. So we will concentrate on that. Okay. So now, in order to get to this kind of a, a UI, we need to modify this okay so let's say what we will modify okay so the idea the best idea that i will give you is go to this html and first design how you wanted to show in the ui for example i'm going to paste a just a div tag like just an html code basically it has a div it shows some data and it shows the carousel you look at this this is actually bootstrap uh, card okay so 
you just need to use the bootstrap content here for example i'll just show you one one thing alone i'm going to show you only one thing so let's go to bootstrap 5 and go to component okay so let's go to component and then if you look at this cards see this is what we want okay so we are looking for this kind of a card so in order to get to the card i need to just copy this if i copy this and place it the way i'm using here the card will come so let's see how the cards are looking so let's see how the cards are looking okay you see this a big box has come so i have some css i'm going to put the css okay so with the css let's see how it looks okay so it looks nice again we are not learning any css or html here we assume you already know but we will focus only on the angular part so i have bought this content okay it has nothing to do it just has some content okay for example if i copy paste this couple of times if i copy paste that couple of times you see this i got three times but the idea here is we need to bring up the category details here okay so in order to bring the category details if you look at here and then let's say we have an endpoints right so let's clear this off let's let's go to home let's go to category you see this this is the response okay so basically this is the data that we have we have category id name description this is what it is showed here nicely correct so we need to dynamically take this data so for this episode we are going to mock the data in the next episode we will see how http service works okay so we have the data so let's go one by one so in order to get to the data what we will do is we have to look for the data that is coming from the api okay so here we are getting array of this model so basically category id category name description so what you have to do is you have to first create a model so if you look at here i created a model folder and then a category.ts because it's just a, a typescript file we don't give any other thing so we just give the name and then .ts and then we have to write this export interface and an interface name in this case it's scores category so i written as scores category and if you look at this category id category name description this name is exactly matching with whatever the data is coming here the category id is number category name and descriptions are string so we know it is course category so now let's go to our component and then we will say here in the cat in the component right so what we are going to do is we are going to create an array of category course category so we will say so we will say categories categories it's of type course category and then that's an array now it is showing error there are two types of error so here it's saying hey you have not initialized anything in order to make this error go away you can put this this will tell compiler that i know that i didn't initialize but i will initialize when the component is hooked up that is one way of doing okay or we can also assign an empty array as a starting data okay it is of type course category and it has empty array that is what it means good now so let's do this right so under the app we will create a folder called mock data so we created a folder called mock data and i'm going to create a file called a uh, category mock because we're going to mock the data okay so in real time right when the apis are getting ready you need to have uh, your development done so what we will do we will do this so we will do an export and then we'll make a name of the you know the data and then we will say it is of this type so if you come here and control period it will ask you to create a category so we are saying we are we are just creating some dummy variable which will hold some data of type course category so from where the course category data can come what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this whole stuff okay actually if you, you can run your own web api to get the data but let's say i am taking the data and placing it here which means i have the real or sample data to work with 
now i take this copy and then go to our course category component here and i'm saying so here in the i'm creating a constructor so constructor is to do some work before the component is initiated so here i'm saying this dot categories equal to this one from where this is coming this is coming from where we mocked so we are done so if i do a thing so i we assigned some categories okay so here comes the angular stuff now okay the very first thing that we are going to learn is ng4 which is angular directive the directive is going to help us to loop through how many number of times we want it will try to help to loop through it that is called ng4 so what we are going to do is we have this data right so how do i know first the data is coming so i'm going to copy this i'll give you a lot of tips here okay here what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove the two extra stuff that we have all right so we remove two extra things that we don't want now only one is there okay so here comes the ngf so ngf and ng4 both are called directives okay so we are going to use one of the directive calls ng4 what it is going to do is it is going to loop through this array and display the content okay so in order to do that what i will do first let me copy this and place it one more time and then i wanted to repeat this whole body so what i'm going to do is i'm going to repeat this whole stuff right i wanted to repeat this whole stuff so here i will come and say star ng small letter followed by capital letter f o r ng4 okay so ng4 equal to let category of categories okay so what we are trying to do is hey we use this directive and then say go through each of this categories array and then store it in this category variable one by one time one one time so this one is currently showing error because it is telling us it don't know what is ng4 is for in order to get to this error what we have to do is first let's go to category and go to imports and imports the common module and the form module okay so common c o m m o n common module and form module the moment you in, you import the form modules under which this ng4 is coming the error will go away now this category okay will hold each item of the category so in order to show the name what we will do will come here delete this and we are going to use something called interpolation okay the the one way interpolation two way interpolation and all is that they are called data bindings the first thing that we are going to see is the one way interpolation which is we will open double bracket we will open double brace and then close with double brace and this is called one way binding so in order to use that we will say category dot you see this those properties are automatically coming i want this category name now description i don't want to hard code it i want to go through whatever is there so again double brace close category category dot category description okay so let's quickly see how the ui is now so let's take a look so after we put this what happened you see this from here 1 2 3 everything that came So whatever was there in the course category, everything came here. So we were able to achieve the first requirement, right? So it is so easy. So now what we will do is let's go to this course category component. So let me give you another tip. You take these categories, go to the HTML. Okay. So if you wanted to see what the data is coming, right? So all what you do is open up the um, double brace, put the variable, put a pipe symbol, and then say JSON. Once you do this, what will happen is you look at this. You saw the whole JSON was displayed here. This is a quick thing that you can, you know, experiment what the variable has actually. For example, if I know this, I know what is this, what is this, what are all properties coming. I know, so I will be able to write it properly. Okay, so that's why this is this is only for like quick experiment, nothing else. We can delete this. We don't need it. So let's let's finish this. So one component is done. 
which means this is done so it is now exactly looking the way it is looking here right everything is done the second thing is when you click on any of these things which is explore it is actually taking you to another page and then the other page should display some information correct you see this the other page is displaying this kind of a ui basically and then if i just go and see what the data is coming for this let's say let's go back and then let's click on some some specific thing so if i click this basically it is calling an api okay so we don't know, worry about this these apis are already present when we call a particular api it is re responding with the courses that is related to that api so we need to fetch this information and then display like this. This is what our intention is. So we will build the next component which will have UI like this and then we will use this mock data to show this UI on screen. That is what we are going to do next. So in order to go to that page, first let's create a couple of components and then I'll explain you one by one. So we need a component called course by category. So I'm going to create that and then we will also create one more component and that component is named as browse courses okay basically we are going to browse the courses so we need uh, such a component okay so two component all right so we have these two components created right so what we are going to do is let's go one by one so let's imagine the development team the backend team is developing the api so they know what is the outcome of the api so just to mimic that i am going to take these which is the data sample data okay i'm going to take this as sample data imagine the backend development team or anybody who wrote the story in the development process gave them they gave us okay this is the data build the ui okay so now based on these things so basically what it is basically it is sending us an array of course data which means a course model will have all of these properties like course ID, title, description, you know, whoever watched the backend API, they know what I'm talking about. Basically, whoever has not watched, just watching the Angular, that's absolutely fine. There is an API that is returning this data. So we need to have a similar model in the uh, UI side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and show you what I did. So let's minimize this. Let's go to model. And there is a model called course.ts. So this course.ts have this exact details. So for example, there is a course interface. So export interface course, course ID, title, description, thumbnail, price. You see this all of this stuff, including session details, an array of session details. This is what it is showing. So this one has all of these details, including the category, user rating, all of those things. We don't need that many details, but basically, uh, this information is what we need. Okay, so I created such a model here. So this model is sufficient for us to show the UI that we are building. Okay, so now let's go to the mock and then let's create a mock. Mock means like the real API is not ready. So we are presuming we are just assuming the real API is not ready and we're going to build a mock. So let's go to mock and here let, let's say right click new mock dash courses.ts so let's create a file and inside this file what i'm going to do is i am going to create a mock like let's say export constant let's give it a name and this is of type course which is an array equal to we need to copy paste the item i come back here i take the whole code like it's just a sample code okay we don't need to worry about anything and I'm going to place it here. Okay, so everything got added here. Instructor user ID is not there. It is coming, but our model is not having it. So let's go fix it. Go here. Instructor user ID number. So now error went. So it's matching. Okay great so we are good here everything looks good okay now we have a model data it could be some different course it could could be some different category right we all we want is we need to first build the information okay so now 
All right, now let's do one thing. Let's go to browse course and then because this is the place where the course is going to be displayed. Okay, so I'll come here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to say COUR SES courses, which is of type course of array. Okay, I will initialize with an empty array. And then what I can do in the constructor, I can specify what is the data coming from. So for example, this dot courses is equal to mock courses. All right, so we got the mocked data. Okay, so for good. So once we got the mocked data, what we are going to do is we are going to showcase this information into the UI. Okay. Now, if you look at this HTML, basically I brought the simple HTML. Okay. The way I want, I just designed the HTML. It doesn't have any of the angular stuff. Okay. Let's first take a look at how this is looking. So it's called browse course. So what we will do right now, as we have not developed anything related to the routing, which we're going to do now, we need to first see how this is looking, right? So let's do one thing. Let's go to home component. This is our testing component kind of. So here, after this, what we will do, we will say app browse component. Okay, so we bought this component here. So let's take a look. We are in home. If you scroll down, great. So this is a template. Like I, I just wrote the HTML, which have this, which has this, which has this like which has everything like but there's no data at all there's no image there's nothing right it's just a template so basically always remember whenever you have to build something you need to first design this html okay you have to first design this html that looks like what your outcome is going to be okay after that only you need to start building it okay now we have learned data bindings and directives we're going to use those two concepts and fill up this page okay if you have not seen data binding or directives go ahead and see these two videos that i'll put it in the description but i assume you already know this okay great now we have this data right so we know what is the properties inside this so let's take a look at this okay so here what we are going to do is we need to repeat this we need to repeat this div n number of times meaning however how many courses that we have these many courses we need to repeat the whole tag so now here comes our angular directive ng for okay so the moment you put ng for equal to we need to say let course of courses so where is this course is coming from here courses right so spelling should be good course of courses which means this tag is repeated okay so this tag is repeated we have not done anything let's just go take a look okay so there's nothing coming here ideally what will happen is because we are running this it it did not even you know get to the uh, data that we saved so in order to do like in order to refresh it just stop the server and run the server why are we doing this? Actually, what happened is this mock course, which is not compiled yet. That's why it is not showing. So after I combine, hmm, it is not coming. There is something wrong that we are missing. If you remember ng4, in order to use ng4, you need to use common module. Common module is something that is required for ng4 to get recognized now because we added that ng4 started looking and we got this whole html repeated five times because course has five times so for example right so we have what course and say length look at this course has five that's why you have repeated this five times okay great now what we do we know this is repeated now we have to fill up all of this stuff right so what we can do is in order to just to have um you know to have the property seen i will just take the first array and then i will say json if i do this 
it will take just the first one and then it will present all of these things so why am i doing this i can take the property name from here like just for reference purpose see here image has to come okay if you look at this where is the image here thumbnail it is coming from thumbnail so let's go and fix that so i have an image tag what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the property binding src that we saw in the demo here we say course dot course dot thumbnail and then we will also give an alt i mean the alternate thing called course dot title okay if the image is not coming the title will come so let's take a look great see all the images came right this is what we are doing now we have to fix all of this stuff all of this stuff if you fix everything will look pretty okay so next is the title so in h2 i'm going to use the title so course dot title okay so that is done and then we will use a price so price is here so we will use a price but we are going to call a function called format price we send the price but we didn't format it which means there is a method missing here let's bring that method okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to write a function basically it accepts a price which is of type number and then it just changes to fixed like after the digit only two digit will come after the dot decimal digit that is what we are doing okay so we we send the price and we format it great so the price formatting is done now let's do one more thing description so let's add the description the course description so here you go i added the course description and then we have to add all of these things right so i'm going to quickly copy this so that it is easy for us and then i'll explain you okay there's the same binding so i'm saying duration i'm taking the duration property and then saying hours so it will concatenate similarly course type seat availability average rate so you can evaluate basically if the average rating is uh, average rating you can put it here and you can also say what is the total rating okay so this is good let's take a look at the demo okay almost good right so i have this duration all of this type this course description everything has come everything looks good okay so even the price has come but what is missing this one should not come right why is this coming this one should come only when i don't see any courses information coming up here correct so let's fix that so if i scroll up i don't need this so i'm going to remove this this section should not come this section should come only when there is no course okay so for that we will add an ng if and then say hey if the length is equal to equal to zero only then you show this and then in this case it's the opposite if the length is more than zero show this right that is what we want it has to come only one time so for looking good everything looks good now let's go and check okay so this page looks good okay so the component is built there are a couple of problems that we need to solve according to the requirement we need to go to a different page you see this when actually let's let's clean this off so for example here from here so in order to get to this page where we have to display this we need to go to a different page right so here comes the routing so we are going to go and learn routing now okay and then we have to put this into the right url okay so what we are going to do is let's go to this place so because we're going to build the routing mechanism i wanted to tell you something so when you created a new project if you have chosen that you wish to go with the routing by default all the router concepts are added by the angular template automatically but we need to know what is that right so if you come to this app component okay there is something called router outlet a router outlet is, has to be imported it's a module and this needs to be imported in the uh, import section but where if you go to this html component like html page you can see router dash outlet so wherever this router outlet is present right in our case it is supposed to be in app component because that is where the components are getting replaced right so that's our main page so because the router outlet is here obviously router outlet component modules should be imported here so this is important apart from this whatever i'm going to show you is the routing mechanism and all of those things so 
router outlet only one place will come and you need to import that in our app component.html and app component.ts okay you have to import here and use you have to use it here okay there is something called routing right so here you come to this app dot routes dot ts this is something that was already created and i already created so basically what you wanted to know is you need to define the routes here so if you hover this it says it's a route of array right so we are defining what has to go where when you click on a particular page what has to do that is what the routing is so what we will do if you look at this we need to define something like this right so we have to define a path path means the url where it has to go after the domain name what we have to do for the category so let's first design a cat i mean a path called course slash browse okay and then we are saying which component to load in this case it's browse course component so we will say if someone goes to this path okay go slash browse this component needs to be loaded let's see whether if that works or not i'm copying this going to go here to our location instead of home i'm going to put this great you see this after it goes to this route this one started loading meaning the component that we just built right started coming okay but what we have to do is we have to create a menu here when you click on it it should come here correct similarly whenever they click on any of this menu they should come to that particular page so how we are going to do this before we do that i wanted to tell you something you go here under the extension and search for angular snippet you see this angular snippet by john papa just click on that and install it like you click on it and then say uh, install the reason is this is going to help us in writing so many things okay so small small snippets can easily come so now let's go to components under core under nav bar here so here we have all of these things right we need to define the route so how do you define a route if you want to go to this uh, contact us first you should know what is the route for that so for contact us this is the route okay so i copy this come here under this a link put a space a dash router link okay this a dash router link will come only when you install the extension if not you have to manually write what it is going to generate you see this it came with a router link property with about as is the link that i'm giving remaining and all is just a class okay but if you come to this navbar component remember under the import you need to import the router module okay you need to import the router module and you come here and then you define this route so let's go and check if that route works about as i'm going to click this okay so i wrote about us in the contact us that's very bad i'm going to cut this about us is here let's go back click on it about us see it changed the navigation and a different page came correct if you go back to your navigation this one come so let's going to fix everything quickly okay so i just quickly fixed all of these routes according to the routes that we have so which means all the other routes should work so if i go to about it works go to contact it works this works all of these routes works right okay now what we are going to do is when you click on here it should take us to that page and then the browse component should come so which means we need to go and fix our category component you remember under the uh, courses under the category there is something called explore but here there is nothing navigation present here so i'm going to say a dash router link and then going to provide cross slash browse okay here also same thing whenever you use this a dot router 
you need to provide router module if you don't provide you will get an error okay so let's see if i do this it took us to this page which means we have to go to this component and remove whatever we were experimenting so we were experimenting this we removed this let's go back to home page and see everything is clean the extra stuff that we just uh, did a demo it's not coming right so if i go and click on any of these things it is taking us here but what is wrong did you notice what is wrong right it is always taking us here but the data is hard coded i wanted to pass the category id and then load this page that is what i wanted to do if you remember sometime back we created two components right one is browse cross that's where we designed everything but there is another component called course by category so in this course by category what we are going to do is we are going to do some changes here so that we learn a lot of stuff new stuff as well as you know how to make this happen like reuse the components okay so here is the thing i am going to use something here let's go to this course component category okay so before we fix it here let's go to our routes i'm going to go to the routes i'm i'm going to add a new route okay so the new route is here the new route says the new route is course slash category slash followed by you see this it's a colon after this category slash it's a colon anything after colon is becoming a variable okay so category id is the variable remember that and then i'm saying load this component i'm going to remove this we don't need this i'll tell you why so we remove this let's go to this component and here we are going to fetch the course id i mean the category id so let's go inside this component and then we will quickly do some fixing so first let's define a variable called category id which is of type number and we will do a default of zero okay and then let's bring up the constructor here is the important step first we will inject something called route activator route so route i say activator route i'm injecting the service and then i'm saying i will inject another service called a router a uh, router is not required so this is fine right so i injected it now what i will do is there is something called life cycle hope okay so like i if you remember as we learn we will learn concepts also life cycle hope is nothing but in programming language in any technology that you take there is something called page life cycle right so the life cycle hope that we are talking about is a component life cycle when a component is uh, created what and all it will go through they are all called life cycle hooks we will see only important life cycle hooks remaining life cycle hooks probably i'll give you some good videos that i have already made you can go and watch that but here is the important thing the life cycle hooks in order to do you say implements followed by the life cycle hook this this is a second life cycle hook called on init on in it is the life cycle hook the moment you bring this you see this is coming from the angular core and it will tell you that hey you do not you have not implemented it click on it and say implement okay so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to say this dot route dot params map dot subscribe okay so i'm subscribing to the parameters that is coming in the route and here params goes for what we will do is this dot category id equal to we will um, get this like say param params dot get here is the important thing remember we have assigned a variable name called category id in the route so the name should match if the name doesn't match obviously it will throw you error now this is a number this is a string so in order to convert this what i will do is i will say number which is an inbuilt function i will provide this and then say that's it so the category id is the id that will come so let's see whether the category id is coming okay so interpolation just to see the category id is coming or not okay now let's do one more thing let's go to our 
um, category component and you see this we are sending it to a wrong place so now we have to change this to the place according to the new route the new route is course category here you go we change this to course category okay and then after this you can say comma and then you can pass the category id so in this case we have category dot category id okay so we are passing the category id to this route it will automatically match that is the beauty of this routing so let's see whether that works or not let's go here let's go to this one see it took to that category and then we also see 13 is coming great okay so now we need to do we need to like uh, you know show the data only for the category id 13 okay here comes the next concept if you look at this we have something called browse course right so here we have hard coded this value if you remember we have hard coded this value uh, we need to filter it according to the courses that is coming so what i'm going to do is i am going to do one thing okay so for example there is a concept called input output okay passing some value from the parent component to the child component is using input and if the child needs to communicate back to the parent component we use output okay so input output together we will see in a different uh, section of the video but right now we are going to learn something called input here is the thing so we have courses now what we will do is we will say um, category id which is of type number default to zero and if you put something called at the rate input if you say input okay this is coming from angular core you see this if you say input which means this becomes an input to this component okay so when this input is sent what we will do we will use the lifecycle hook for example there are two more lifecycle hooks here implements on init and on change there are two lifecycle hooks so we just need to put a comma here i which i forgot okay so now let's implement both gonna implement this implement this okay so we bought both we don't need to throw any error but we are going to do something okay so what we are going to do is we will uh, do something like for example right now it is assigned with this okay so whenever the course category id is coming what we will do this dot courses okay or in other words let's say we will have a name called process course okay so let's let's create one more function okay so what this function is going to do was this function is going to so this function is going to call another function and then that function is nothing but get course by category we will pass the category okay so let's do this so we have two functions this function is going to call this function okay so here what we will do this dot get course by category and then we will pass this dot category id okay so we will pass this so it will get the category id and what this is going to do is this dot courses equal to mock courses dot filter we're going to filter according to the category okay dot category id equal to equal to the incoming category id great so we are going to filter this and then we are going to call this function from here which is this dot this and then we will copy this and then we'll place it here let's rearrange this let's go one more time okay so we have a function that is calling another function which is accepting the category id 
because we got the category ID as an input here. Okay, so we got the category ID. We are uh, filtering the category ID and then we are reassigning to this course table because this course is, is the is the array which is looping it here. Okay, now the reason because of these two us this is always for initializing the component. So we initialize this. Okay, uh, if for example, if the incoming category ID is, uh, yeah, so we, we are going to filter this. And the important thing is, ng on changes will always be invoked whenever the input value is changed. Okay, so you're going to see this demo qu quickly. So I'm going to copy this um, component, go to the next component where we were showing this. You remember this? I'm going to remove this. Okay. And then I'm going to use this. If I do this, what will happen? Okay, so it's it's showing that there's an error. Basically, when you copy this component, this component needs to be imported here. What was the component name? Let's quickly see. It's a browse course component. Okay, so it's browse course component. Okay, let's open this. All right, so it opened, right? So here what we are going to do is, if I go and click here, why it came zero? Like we sent 13, okay? Right now, the value is zero. For example, you go to anything, everything is coming as like empty. Why? Because it is filtering the category by empty. So if you want to know what I'm talking about, um, look at this. When this comes here, okay, we get this category, but we never use this category. So what we will do is, let's say, when this is getting processed, okay, so you will know what's happening. You see this, the incoming is zero. That's why we don't get any value. Now, in order to get the value, let's go here, wherever this, we are using this component. So here, look at this. Now, our input is always um, I mean, whenever you use an input, you need to use that in the component. So this is the component. In order to use the input, you use the square bracket. That's called property binding. Category ID equal to, let's say, 2323. Okay, so if I browse, what will happen? 2323. But we are supposed to pass 13. Where is this 13? 13 is here, correct? So let's pass the actual category ID. See, 13 came. Great. There's no 13 course. Okay. So let's say Azure, which is 15, and you got the value. Look at this. I'll show one more time. JavaScript is 14. There's no 14, so you don't get a value. So based on what we passed, we were able to show this page. Correct. The reason why we had such pages, we can reuse the um, component. Okay. So that's the reason why we have this page. Okay. So we built a couple of things. Let's do one more thing quickly so that that gets satisfied. Okay. So now you have learned input also, right? So what we are going to do was I'm going to show you one more thing. Okay. So let's go to category component. Okay. In the category component, I'm going to replace this. Basically what I added is I added something called, um, look at this, let me show you. I'm going to change the category, um, the category into uh, different types. For example, I'm going to use the input here also. You see this? I have categories as input. I have view type as inputs. Okay. Which means I can pass this, these values here so that it's easy. Okay, so I can pass these two values, but for now we will fill up these categories based on the mock data. But let's see what this view type is doing. If the view type can be of tabs or list, okay, by the default is list. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this home component where this category is in place. Here I will say this, I will type view types, okay. View types is the input, so square bracket view types equal to tab. So let's see what happens. This is still same, right? 
now in order to show this one look at this if i go here it's showing as a list here right the same component the same category component when i come here it will show us list when i go to the home page it will show us horizontal scrolling see it is the same component but if i go here it will show like this if i come to this one which is a different category okay but it will show like this so which means we have a another route course category so let's do one more thing let's go to routes and here so we are going to add another routing okay another routing called category component so the category component is already present we are just adding this route okay so this route so now let's go to the core navbar this one and here we will add something called category okay so that way you will be able to go to this category and see what is showing so i am going to show a category route okay i added a category this is the category thing okay so let's go so let's go let's go to our ui you see this category has come okay it looks little bad um, so we got the category here so if i click on category say it is taking to this and it is showing a different ui so the different ui is because if you go to this category component you see this whenever it is list list means if i don't pass this value the default is list whenever this is a list this code is executed which is showing in listed form whenever i send tab which is from the home component this tag is executed okay this is horizontal view this is vertical view so one component depending on where you place how you want to display you can do it other than that everything looks same so we can go here and this is also shown so we don't need this um, alert we will remove this because it's of not needed okay so i think we built a lot of stuff so let's quickly recap we learned data binding we learned um, directories we learned okay let's quickly recap so we learned how to create components data bindings directives routing mechanism input concepts and then how you can refactor the code to have a better view look at this we have these many stuff built and learned right so this is what we learned this time uh, only thing which i haven't shown in this video is course detail view i think course detail view is something that you will do the same mock up and then create a page so i'm going to give this as a task okay because you guys have to learn in order to get to this uh, thing so please learn create a new component called course detail and then um, you know go to my site you can actually uh, click on any of this cloud servers go here like for example click on this go to network you'll find the whole details here make this as a mock do exactly what we did and add the routing and see you are able to go to the course detail so this way you'll be able to create a component add the new routing mechanism whatever you learned in this video you will be able to perform that in course detail navigation page that is the task for this video all right i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video continue to watch my rest of the videos that's coming for the angular there are a lot of stuff to develop and if you like this video do subscribe to my channel if you have any questions do let me know in the comment section give me a thumbs up and share this with your friends and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos if you have any questions or suggestions leave them in the comments below happy coding